Hey guys, Sam with Fox Airsoft here, and today's topic is going to be about face and eyewear for Airsoft. Now before we start, be sure to check out our starter kit section where you can get gear, pistols, rifles, and sniper rifles if you're just starting out and you need some recommendations. Alright, so let's talk about face and eyewear. So the first thing you should look for in proper eye protection at the minimum is a Z87.1 or Z87 Plus ANSI rated uh, lens goggle system. Um, this is not unlike what's used for paintball as well, so if you have a paintball mask, uh, you can be assured that it'll work fine. Z87.1 is a standard of testing used for all industrial and commercial grade purposes, so a lot of the military goggles, in fact all of them, should be at least this rating. This ensures that uh, everything that's coming out of a manufacturer is tested to the same standard, and a Z87.1 lens should take a really high velocity rated impact without cracking or shattering. Here you have some deformities here. This is a test lens provided to us by Smith Optics to show that they follow all military standard testings. Now, aside from the lens, for airsoft you must have full seal around your eyes. So the goggles should form a gasket and seal carefully around your eyes. There should be no gaps, no daylight, no air uh, pockets in between because anywhere uh, there's a gap that you can see definitely a BB can find its way through there and get up in your eye. So definitely a dangerous situation. The last criteria for uh, the eyewear is a retention strap. That's to keep the goggles on your head, so keeps it from getting knocked off by accident, compromising your safety around your eyes. One thing that doesn't work too well that a lot of people seem to think they can get away with is shooting glasses. Certainly they are rated properly as far as uh, the lens rating goes, but they often lack the seal around your eyes, which is okay for target shooting if nothing's shooting back at you, but in an airsoft player versus player environment, definitely a no-go. Now, if your field requires a full face mask of some sort, and you don't wanna run a paintball mask, a lot of airsofters use something called mesh mask. They come in different styles and shapes. Uh, this is the basic setup from ASG that uh, comes with a flexible side so it fits smaller faces perfectly and provides uh, protection for your lower face here. The mesh is uh, great for breathability so that you can uh, run all day and not fog up your goggles as bad as you would on a covered setup. Uh, that's people's chief complaints about a paintball mask oftentimes. Here we have an integrated hybrid system that's devised by Tipman. Uh, they normally make paintball stuff and paintball masks, but they do recognize the need for stuff for airsoft. So they've combined a high quality dual paint goggle uh, with the full paintball mask style setup, but a mesh mask. Since we're not taking fire from uh, projectiles that are marked as paint, we don't have to worry about stuff getting in here, and um, we can run the mesh mask without any problems. Um, normally you would run the mesh mask in conjunction with your eyewear. It's a little tricky because you have a lot of straps on your head, and you might have to put it on a certain way. It's not the ideal system sometimes, so you're gonna have to experiment. A lot of us move around from setup to setup until we find what we finally like. If your field requires ear protection too, uh, there are mesh masks that cover the ears. This one again from ASG. This is the hybrid mesh with ear covers. Otherwise for ear protection, many paintball fields I've noticed will require just this part to be covered. So a full mask is a must in those scenarios. All right, that was a pretty straightforward subject for today. Hopefully you found that useful and helps you out in your shopping for proper face and eyewear. I'm Tang from Fox Airsoft. Appreciate you watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.